more feds were deployed to Portland and um, they these feds were kind of like they they you know, Portland's been going on, I think, 60 days now, I, I believe is what's been going on. Yeah. And um, they said that several dozen additional out of town federal law enforcement officers are deploying to Portland as they look to make additional arrests in the coming days while also shifting tactics from the use of tear gas, according to multiple federal enforcement resources. No, they've been using the tear gas still. The federal tear response gas is terrible. It is the worst has so far sparked four civil rights lawsuits. A Department of Justice Inspector General investigation proposed legislation in Congress limiting the role of the federal law enforcement in American cities and has injured a number of protesters. Rather than quell the protests, as was the intent, it served to re-energize and strengthen the city's protest movement. That's the thing I want to point out to you guys. That's exactly what's happened. Like, it has literally generalized the, the protests. Like, more people started showing up. The more the more they saw what the feds were doing. So a couple days ago, they had uh like a series of people standing with color coded shirts. So Amy Siskind said, hearing from a friend in Portland that there are ten to fifteen thousand marching tonight. This was on the twenty fourth. Three days ago, the wall of moms in yellow and dads in orange. orange Joined by the wall of vets, Woo! teachers against tyrants in green, healthcare workers in scrubs, and lawyers for BLM in purple. Wow. So that's that's kind of what what started, and I think that's really smart because we um we spoke about how we need to involve all kinds of people. Once you start involving working people, the protests take a more economic turn, like naturally. Like this isn't it's not like these people got together and said, "Oh, we're gonna do this from the start." This is how it's evolved. It, it's still Black Lives Matter and police brutality, but now people are running out of money. People are, are scared of what's going to happen. It's going to attract more people. They're seeing the, how the feds are dealing with this, and they're seeing how the government isn't doing a thing about it. So it's going to bring more of, of, of people out. And um, I have another tweet here. Yeah. Uh, Want to watch this video? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and just like Daniel Kahawai says in our chat, it's a rainbow coalition, fam. This is free. Oh, There's that peace symbol. Yep. And um, another Twitter poster, Beth Namakura Nakamura, um, said, Portland, are you scared? Hell no. And there's a, a picture of all these people that were there. And some of the footage from here, I mean, it, it, like, it's crazy. That's a lot of people. I mean, when we went, there was a lot of people. That's even more yeah. than in a few days. Like, it's been a few days. It hasn't oh, even yeah. been that long. Yeah, there's been a lot of people. I actually want to find, I don't know if you, probably not everybody saw it, but I want to find this footage when I was there in the uh, in the crowd, amongst the crowd, right when they started doing the, they were talking early. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. Basically, there's thousands of people, and they do this light up thing. It was yeah. it was amazing. It was amazing. With the phones. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was amazing. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. And so the narrative that these people are violent, I I honestly, it at the at at the end of the night, well, after the police start coming out and tear gassing people, yes, people start getting violent, wanting to not violent, um, I don't want to say violent, it's getting more aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah. Because there's no violence in to me in graffiti. I mean, how is that like? It's graffiti, or I don't know. Even a fire. I just it's like it's what people have done in protests. There it is. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall.
was an awesome moment i was there it was uh it was really cool to experience that and then when they march past the wall the memorial wall of all those who have been slain by those shitty cops yeah. those really bad like really shitty cops white supremacist cops blue line motherfuckers those cops yeah that was really powerful too so yeah, i'm gonna show that too real quick <laughs> the mural right now this is the mural of justice i would not disrespect that by standing in front of it i did not realize so we have the mural here and, uh, everybody who has uh, been a victim of police brutality and has lost their life it's powerful it's very powerful this entire wall is a mirror. I'll take a look at it once the crowd passes by. So now we're People are waking up, fam. And it's a start. People are waking up. Yeah, this is a good start. Yeah, and not, you know, we're not trying to be like, oh, like, but it, it, it's a start. And, um, you know, I think it's it's making people realize how bad their government is. I mean, this is not just on Trump. The Trump Trump is sent like sent federal agents that cannot be denied. He is absolutely exploiting this situation. But what has allowed him to have these powers was uh, set by the people, the presidents that came before him. By those who supported the Patriot Act, people like Barack Obama, people like uh, George W. Bush, who now is best friends with neoliberals, but, you know, people like the the McCain's, all of these people that are now, you know, trying to make themselves look better because they're not Trump. It's like you guys literally built the system for him to exploit. This is now his playground that he's play. He's he, you know he's playing to his base. And there's no backing off of that. He's going to continue to do that. And so what Trump has done that can't be denied is created a comfort level for people who are actually like hardcore racists who really, really like are are scared of change, who are scared of seeing, you know, like the lies fall apart. He, he's created like a safety a safety uh a place of safety for for them and it's really interesting because now they're coming out and like there's a i have seen more trolls on our chats in in the, in the last few days than i have ever like i think this this is like getting erupting i have never seen that much like they're get they're scared fam 
They're scared. Well, they're scared because they're like, oh shit! They're like these scared. people. I want to. I want to see these people off the internet. It's I want them really to go to funny. protest. Go I know. Protest. Get off. Get up off your ass and go. Go to a Stop protest. Being a keyboard warrior. Just they're go. fucking scared, fam. It's okay. We've been there. We got tear gas twice. We got arrested for covering this shit. And a journalist was arrested too. The uh, I believe last night in in Portland. Even despite the fact that they issued a temporary restraint on, on the feds, you know, attacking journalists, it, they violate whatever they want and they'll face whatever little consequence after or no consequences at all. And um, la- uh, yeah, a few days ago, they, there's just more. I have, I have more footage of the, the wall people, the wall of moms and dads and all those people. And just so everyone knows, we don't support <laughs> Biden or Trump. They both fucking suck. We're Well, yeah, personally I don't support either. And I don't think I ever will actually. Um as long as the same people are in charge, it doesn't matter. Right. So, what's the next thing you got, fam? I got a uh by Mike Baker. It's just another uh shot of the new wall, the wall of vets. The military vets have set up in front of the federal courthouse. And they are in front of the wall of moms and the wall of dads who are arriving. This is awesome because the, if the vets, if we can get veterans for peace, right, veterans who want to stop our imperialism, our, our, our regime change wars, to see what this is, I think that's going to start something. Trump and, and the Democrats have done absolutely nothing for, for veterans. These are true Americans right here. segue a little bit into um, kind of just an overview of what's been going on and uh, hold on I'm going to read this sign real quick it says I'm an American patriot federal troops defend property but this does not give them the right to take away my constitutional freedom that's what this veteran is saying here. Yeah. to all the people who really fight for civil liberty and you should be out there because they're being they're being taken from us. Any any sort of civil liberty. So. Um, um, so the Washington Post, <laughs> I hate putting them in here, but they kind of just did an overview of the protests saying exploding across, explode, exploding across the country, um, police declaring riots in Seattle, Portland. Okay, so police have declared riots. The police are declaring riots. Um, when they very well know if they went home, if they stopped harassing the protesters, I mean, and, 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 you know, all of this would be a lot less. And, of course, if they actually took accountability for what they're doing and said, look, we need to look if, if officials, because the police are one thing, but it's the people in power that are sending the police. Don't be mistaken. Don't think that the mayors are, are absolutely clueless. They know what, exactly what's oh, happening. Yeah. So um, in Seattle, protests in several major cities across the country turned violent this weekend huh? as weeks of civil unrest and clashes between activists and authorities boiled over, sending thousands of people teeming into public squares, demanding racial justice from Los Angeles to Richmond to Omaha. Police and protesters clashed in a tumultuous Saturday night that saw scores arrested after demonstrators took to the streets and police in some cities dispersed crowds with tear gas and pepper spray. In Austin, a man was shot and killed in the midst of a downtown rally. In Richmond, a truck was set ablaze outside police headquarters. Outside of Denver, a jeep sped through a phalanx of people marching down an interstate when a shot was fired, injured, injuring a protester. Um, the focal point of the protests continued to be in the Pacific Northwest where a week of clashes between activists and federal agents in Portland, Oregon, pumped new energy into a movement that began in the wake of the police killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis on Memorial Day. And then the authorities declared a riot after protesters breached a fence surrounding the city's courthouse building. The, quote, violent conduct of people downtown, unquote, created a 
quote, grave risk of public alarm, unquote. So, um, again, they're painting this as the people doing the the violence, right? Um, and the 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 feds are actually staying at the Marriott in Portland. So um, we we found that out when we were there, and they were also protesting outside of that. And the police in Seattle, by the way, were able to use pepper spray and flash grenades, even though there was an agreement that they shouldn't have used that. That was the whole like Chaz shop thing. Like they weren't allowed to use these certain kinds of gases. Um, and so they find these loopholes to tr continue to do that. And um, it's gotten kind of bad in Seattle again. So I'm just going to go on to that. Anything to say, Johnny? Nope. Okay. So there's a picture I have of uh, by Serena Barr. And she took a picture of all these canisters. And she said, not even sundown. And all this shit has already been used along with tear gas and mace. That's on July 25th. So two days ago. That was uh, Saturday. The day that we're talking about where everything was like kind of happening. So Saturday, this is the amount of, uh, of canisters already before, before sundown. They usually wait till sundown. But what was happening in Seattle was like before sundown. And here are some, here's a video of what, uh, of what happened. Seattle Police Department drowning protesters with bare mace while they're already on the ground unarmed. This is in broad daylight. This isn't Trump's feds. This is a local police department in a democratic city. Hashtag Seattle protest. So let's let's watch that. Okay, so I wanted to point that out because um it it this is a democratic mayor a democratic city a democratic state we're talking about one of the most progressive states um and cities we have people like uh, Shama Sawant in city council who has actually been on the front lines fighting this uh, via legislation and demonstrations both and yet we have the Seattle Police Department right? Not Trump's feds, the Seattle Police Department being violent against protesters. I mean, I call that violence. You're, you're, the guy's down, you're spraying him more. What the hell are you doing? I mean, this is, this, all this does is incite more people to continue protesting because you are over using your power, your authority, and you don't care because you're not going to receive any consequences. This is all about accountability. There's no accountability for these police officers. There is no accountability for the officials that allow this to happen. So people are going to continue protesting. And, um. Fam, what would be a, what, so you're saying accountability. Okay. So let's say instead of that, the, the police doing this, they could sit down fire and jail all those police that have killed people right have the, have mm -hmm. killed uh minorities and then work with the community to do to to do what to do an, an autonomous zone what do you think like what 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 could be a possible solution here the listen to the demands specifically seattle has a list seattle of, does of have demands a list of five demands. so they need to freaking listen to these demands and find a way to actually pass them if not pass them listen to the other side and bring them to the table because what they're asking is really little it's not even it's the bare minimum like i want we want less money in our city we the people who live in the city want less money going into funding the police arresting people and killing people and we want our money to go into the communities that's what they i mean that's the main part of what they want that's what it means to defund the police it doesn't mean that they don't exist. I mean, some people want that, um, myself included, because I think you'd have to redo the whole thing, in, in my opinion. But at the very least, what they are asking for is defunding the police, putting that money back where it needs to be, get, getting all of these protesters that have, that have charges, et cetera, on their record dropped, getting them out of jail, crushing the, the ju juvenile jails. They want the mayor to resign. The mayor hasn't shown any sort of like leadership in this other than to be on the side of the police. And um, 
it's important that we note that it's important we we realize that and we and we point it out because otherwise like what like th- that's the solution johnny like that that has to be the solution there is really nothing else that that could happen i mean this is what people want they want that but i think it's also going to start we're like also going to start like, shifting though like how hard is that to do like apparently how hard it's impossible is that? um i johnny real quick i want to point this out day the lawless the, the the guy that posted that video we just saw he said i understand we need to vote out trump but i hope you also understand why rallying behind biden is troubling for those of us who already live in cities under similar neoliberal pro-cop elected leadership. This is Seattle PD Mayor Durkin worked this Seattle this is Seattle PD. Mayor Durkin worked for Biden. Biden. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, Mayor Jenny Durkin worked for Joe Biden. Um and this is what I want to see more. Thank you, Day the Lawless. That is what I want to see. I want to see people understand that voting Joe Biden in November isn't going to change a goddamn thing not, when this is happening in a democratic a state with a democratic mayor, a democratic governor, and they are letting the Seattle PD do whatever they want. And guess what? The feds have also been notified to um, res- have a tactical unit go out there to assess the situation. So they're looking at Seattle right now. They also just did the same thing in LA, which I'm going to go into a- in a minute. But this is not like this is not anything that this is Republican or Democrat. This is the establishment. This is this is the authoritarianism of the oligarchy. Um, and if you if you read Marx or if you've read Marx, you know the stages. We're in stage four, late stage capitalism. According to Marx, stage five then is socialism. Stage six is communism. I'm just saying we are in in late stage capitalism because it's not working. And it's not so, working. A little virus fucking this is destroying the economic system. Oh, it's yeah. ridiculous. We haven't even touched Do today little- <laughs> on 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 what is like. The tsunami, the Johnny tsunami that's coming with the economic collapse, fams. Uh, and real quick, before we get to LA, I just want to show uh, from Simone Del Rosario, who's a reporter, a team of medics stand by ready to help people who are sprayed or hit by crowd control weapons. And then if you scroll right down, the nurse and scrubs, you guys will see this nurse and scrubs get blasted by spray while trying to grab someone away from the police. Her day job is RN at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. There she is, there she is, boom. Sprayed. Yep, there she is. You just spray her. Really violent protester right there, guys. Really, really violent protester there. Really, really violent nurse. And look at, look at all the, look at how heavily armed they are. And look at the, the car. Yeah, the protest is super violent. Super violent. They're the ones shooting guns. They're the ones spray painting. They're the ones throwing tear gas. They're the ones armed to the T, to the bone, with your taxpayer money. Yep, yep. Yep. It's enraging. It really, it really is enraging to me that this is happening. Like, and, and still people are out there trying to say that this is some sort of like, this is okay in in some ways like and it's not it's not okay i it's not okay at all like it's not double-sided well both sides were you know there's no two sides to this i mean yes there's going to be violent people in among protesters but at this point i'm not necessarily like what am i going to say you're being violent against people who are oppressing you okay like this is like you can't put them on the same balance because one is 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 doing the crime the police are the ones doing the crime and they're not answering to the crime and protesters have literally tried peacefully marching i have seen protesters go to cops and say we just want this to stop i have seen them plead i have seen them go straight to the face of a cop pointing a gun at them and and they still they don't do it they are the ones pushing the violence yet the narrative of the mainstream media and a lot of the propaganda out there say, oh, no, the protesters are uh, being violent and looting. And that's when you see the, the privilege of people come out in Beverly Hills. When you cover that, it's like, well, they should go to a socialist country. That's not the answer. 
that's not that's not even that's like what are you talking about like what are you even saying <laughs> yeah. like it doesn't even make sense when they make that argument it's like do you know what happens to every <clears throat> single fucking country that tries to get socialism done the fucking u.s interferes they either get rid of the leader or they get a coup yep. or internationally they put uh, international sanctions they take away their bank account there's so, like how do you not know this Empire education. That's why you don't. Yeah, know. I mean, the because people are this empire, the United States empire, yeah. run by the CIA goons and the fucking top, 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 whatever percent. Yeah, one percent. Fucking controlling this shit. Exactly. That's exactly what's going on. Um. So, let me see. Where I was. Uh, L.A. You guys. Um. We thought you know, Trump said he was going to go send troops to Chicago, send troops to. Um, you know, everywhere that they deem is, is out of control. But in L.A., they uh, it's starting to pick up again, Johnny. Saturday night, the police declared a tactical alert in response to protests downtown. Now, the protests were still small, bigger than than they have been in the last few weeks. But this was was still small. The Los Angeles police issued this tactical alert. And Sergeant Anthony Costello said that there had not been any major problems with the majority of the crowd, but that there were some isolated incidents of vandalism, including some broken windows and graffiti at the U.S. courthouse downtown. Um, video posted on social media showed police in riot gear facing off with what appeared to be dozens of protesters in front of City Hall. Dozens. Um, some in the crowd waved signs and chanted Black Lives Matter and No Justice, No Peace. There were some arrests, including at least one for van vandalism. Okay, so I just want to point out here, they're talking about graffiti, broken windows. Yeah, okay, that's a federal building. Okay, Yeah, graffiti. broken windows and graffiti. Okay. <laughs> people are protesting dead people. Um, the, the erasure of our, of our civil liberties, the, the First Amendment and rights, that people are protesting people dying. Why is the argument always about property? always about about what the damage to property is why because we live in a capitalist country that is all about profits over people that's that i mean this is why i don't think we can solve this problem until we abolish i mean until we move away from that economic idea because inherently in capitalism all you do is literally compete for resources and that's it and so i guess i'm gonna have to do a video explaining on what socialism is because socialism isn't government control it is not it is not big government control i hate big government like i literally classify as a libertarian socialist on some charts um because i i don't believe the government should be meddling in your life um so i'm not a tanky but i just i think people in the united states hear socialism and they think it's big government and that's something we have to correct uh, I this video here, Johnny, that 26 minutes and 36 seconds, the whole thing is pretty good. But I just wanted to point out Steve. Steve Goot is a, a videographer. He's done a lot of work for multiple people. And he was in the area in L.A. on Saturday. And he caught this part where a police officer literally shoots at a woman in her car. With with a with a rubber bullet and for like the woman was just at least 175 to 100 f feet away from the police that serving no threat and the pol the LAPD shoots here they're telling people that uh the protesters are are vandalizing and being violent but look at what the, this officer does at 26 minutes and 36 seconds an incredible amount of assumptions and that's what the LAPD wow what what happened <laughs> We're having trouble playing this video. Oh, All right, the situation is oh, intensified oh. here. So like, oh. <laughs> you're I'm, you know saying I'm, sure say I'm not defending. Smack on I'm the not, movement I'm, I'm first before the cops. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not defending the police. I'm not defending. I think it's more about having a conversation rather than having aggression. Am I making sense? Yeah. Okay. So just real quick, before this, the, 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 the journalists were attacked. Hit back I didn't hit him back at all. I told him I was a member of the press. So that's what they're. And then what happened? And then they said you knew where to go. And so he's like, yeah, but like a water bottle doesn't, you know, it's not it, oh, throwing a water bottle. Yeah, it's dumb, whatever. But that doesn't incite for police to grab you and push you out. And so that's what they were talking about. Oh, 
and you shouldn't have challenged her opinion. that's the other thing everybody keeps assuming. That's what I keep seeing. Yeah, and that's what I told the cop even. I'm like, yeah, you just made an incredible amount of assumptions. And that's what the LAPD is known for. Because there's not much nuance in the policing here. They just assume everyone's a black block terrorist or Antifa or something. Yeah. Just because, like, four people throw rocks? I mean, that's ridiculous. Oh, wait, no, that's media. Never mind. Sorry, I see people moving in the distance. I'm like, oh! Yes, we do have you down here. Yes. Yeah, she I was at the Beth in. Hills March the other day. <laughs> Are you serious? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? There was no reason. Jesus! You didn't even say anything to stop! Holy shit! You just fired before even asked? Oh my god! They just broke this woman's window and fired some kind of rubber bullet at her. She was probably at least like 75 feet from the cops. Did they break your window? Yeah, they, well, they, they went for my face. Wow, that, yeah, yeah. That wow, happens. they shot at right. her face. What the fuck? Fuck! Yeah, hey, I need you to get in the car. I need you to get the fuck in the car now or get out of my face. Or fuck get you! Hey, get fuck Whoa, he, yeah, that's not gonna help right now. There's only a couple, there's only a couple of us here. Are you guys kidding me right now? What was the point of that? You didn't even warn them. Look at they're a hundred feet away at least. Honestly, fam, I wouldn't drive the car anywhere near that line, but uh, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, I've, 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 we've been pretty close. I mean, you know, we saw what they did to Tina and all of that. I mean. But here's the thing. You guys saw the cop was aiming for like her face. Yeah. That like, was like right. you can't tell me. I mean, unless he has terrible aim, maybe he shouldn't be a cop with it a weapon. It looks like he had really good aim because <laughs> he was aiming right at the driver's face. And it's like, what, now who's going to pay for that? Oh, she has to pay for that. Yeah, she can see the LAPD. But now they're starting to go back into their old ways because this is what they were doing before they got a bunch of lawsuits. Right. But something's happening where they're starting to like. No, they're they're they're. They're increasing it. Yeah, exactly. And fam, uh, I don't know if you know this, but actually, breaking news, the fucking feds are in L.A. Breaking news. Hold on. Let me see. You guys started making a mess. I couldn't put on my mask. Oh, I put... Because of your nonsense. My nonsense. Yeah, your nonsense. My nonsense. I'm the fucking press, dude. Why are you treating us like that? There is no press corps right now, unfortunately. Oh, there's no press corps. There's no press corps. <laughs> Uh, you guys, this is fascism. They can't say there's no press. Like, that is in our constitution. You constitutionalists, you who love the constitution. My first amendment right. My, first, my, my second, second amendment right. right. Well, my first goddamn amendment right is now being plastered all over. They don't give a shit. They're saying there is no, no press. That's it. And, and guess what? If they're going to start going after, nor, like, press. I mean, a, a guy that was arrested the other day was like a... A, a reporter for like a local you mainstream media news channel like they're gonna go after everybody this is why when we talk about civil liberties it's so a uh, julian assange it's not like i don't have to agree with everything alex jones said but the moment they started infringing upon people's rights trying to take things down trying to like even trump's twitter as stupid as that is like the moment they start doing that shit that's it that that's a, a a slippery slope and now they can go and start saying well because of the riots because of covid because of whatever they're using all of this to pass legislation that infringes on our privacy and our civil liberties and all the people that really voted for Donald Trump because they thought he was going to be the guy to really push against that guess what he's not pushing against that like be honest he's not like I'm not saying vote for Biden, but I'm also saying call him out. Call him out on that because that's that's what has to happen. So and and okay, so this is what this guy said, Vishal Vishal Singh. <sighs> Protesters stand off against a unified attack from federal agents and LAPD on Saturdays uh on the 25th. So that was uh 2 days ago. This is the only footage I captured. 
of the agents and it was not easy to get. So the feds, the U.S. Marshals are here in Los Angeles. Steady, steady, steady. And where in particular, Johnny, are they? They're at every single federal This is a federal courthouse. Because there's a federal courthouse and then there's a federal one in Wilshire. Is, that, is it a Wilshire or downtown? Shit, or I'm under fire, I'm under fire. Because the federal building, I think it's like steady, United States steady, steady, steady. <laughs> so, fam, we're going to try to see what's going on. Shit, I'm under fire, I'm under fire. Three something, three five zero, three three five zero. I don't know. I have to look it up. Yeah, because th there's one in Wilshire. That's where a lot of the protests have been. Um, that's where Black Future Project was in that area. There's one there. And then there's um, a few downtown. So uh, we'll find out. We're going to go and, and find out. 